Hi everyone, it's Rick, your friendly comic book scientist. This week I'm going to show you the cleaning of an X-Men number one. This one was a little peculiar. The uh, the case was half cracked out and melted in a place and the label was missing. Uh, also the, the cover uh, had been trimmed and I, I hated to notify the poor owner of the book that that was the case, but uh, I didn't realize it at first. They, they'd asked if I could, you know, correct the spine rule and I, I didn't fully realized that it wasn't really a spine roll issue, but the cover had been trimmed, but um, I did what I could, and it looks looks better. Um, additionally, I have some books to work on this week that I will show you here. One of the fun, one of the funnest things about doing what I do, and this is more of a hobby and is becoming more of a, of a job all the time, I guess, is that um, I get to read these books. I get to read books that haven't been read in a long time. And I get to like an X-Men number one and uh, Tales of Suspense 39 and Iron Man 55. And I mean, I see I have a ton of X-Men, you know, giant size X-Men number ones. Um, I'm going to have a ton, really huge amount of Hulk 181s. And I never want to see an amazing Spider-Man 300 again, as I think I've mentioned previously. Uh, but I get to read them. I get to read these books. I sit down and make the little voices in my head and I smell them and I love them and they uh some of these have been in slabs for 20 years and you know and I think you know that I I might be the last person to read this book for 50 years or something sometimes I uh that that is the greatest joy of this for me is I people intentionally send me really cool awesome fun books that I get to cherish and to to smell and to read and to hold and then they go back in their plastic coffin for for decades to be, uh, you know, just looked at and traded and sold. But uh, that's the best part of it for me. So I'm going to show you some, some books I'm working on this week here. And then we will uh, get on to the X-Men book. All right, take care. All right, what do we have here? Well, this is great. Got some... Rhino books here. This is we got a couple, a little bit of ink smudges. These have been somebody cleaned these with an eraser before. You can tell uh, sometimes because they have the smear of the ink near the the um, the price stamp there, and it kind of rubs it out a little bit. These books are really kind of pretty. There are any spine ticks? A couple spine ticks that I can get out, of course. This is famous for me because it's the last book before we meet Mary Jane for for real. You know, it's one of the very few books that are post Ramita, pre Mary Jane. So there's a couple of them. Pretty. This is a lighter color book. Color break. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We have a Tales of Suspense 39. For those of you who don't know, it's the first Iron Man. We've got a, some tears here, misaligned. The flaps folded over the bottom of the book here. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but I'll have to straighten that out. Um, it clearly hasn't been pressed before. There's a lot of opportunity to move this one. There's This book has, it's, I don't know if it's, it's not obvious, but there's a lot of tears in this book. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be, I think the 3.5 on this original grading was, was a gift because this book has these on the back, which is gonna, I'm gonna to have to go through and remove every one of those. So, and I may mend it, I'm not sure. At a 3.5, it won't mark off with a mending tape. Oh, that was a little pretty. I'm gonna FF number one, which I thought was a, which I initially thought was a subscription crease here, but it is not. It's just it's just a crease. So it had this gone all the way down, I don't think CGC would have taken off for it uh, as a subscription crease at this grade, but um, it's only part way. So, if, you know, in a way it would have been better off had this gone all the way down. Um, but we've got a lot of spine ticks, a lot of room for improvement. I cannot wait to read this one. Wow. You know, it says, I can't turn invisible fast enough. How can I stop this creature torch? Okay, so how long does that take, Sue? Does it take, turn invisible take like a half an hour? <laughs> I don't know, but just wait and see, sister. The Fantastic Four have only begun to fight. 
the three of you can't do it alone, it's time for the thing to take a hand. And I'll take, it'll take more than ropes to keep Mr. Fantastic out of action. You know, this is like, <laughs> this is comic book royalty right here, right? It really is. Um, we've got a cop, a couple guys in hats, a lady in a hat, some guy bending over for reasons we don't understand. Uh, oh, this is, he's getting his hat, I see. And Hulk is just smashing a car because, you know, uh, not Hulk, sorry. Thing is just smashing a car because, you know, that's what you can do. I think it shows you that he's strong. That's why that's going on. This is some lean Kirby goodness here. So that is great. Uh, we have an FF48. Lots of opportunities to improve this book as well. You know, gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It was interesting to show all these people here. These people are... Um, this guy's going to fall off that roof, man. Nobody's looking. I'm pretty sure he's going to be dead in about a minute. Um, well, Galactus is coming anyway, so I guess they're all goners. <laughs> and I love this. You know, they're kind of embracing one another. And look at the uh, the thing's pose here. He's like... And that, that's kind of a worried, you know, body-twisting pose. That's something you totally do if you were, like, not knowing what to do because something, something was going down. And the sky is red, right? It's a classic... Classic, classic. All right, another one of these. Let me see all the time. Crease, ink transfer, I'll take that off. There is foxing in the bottom of this. I may not play with that. Um, it's actually at the top as well. This one has the famous Evil Knievel back cover that's almost always super dirty. So let's take a look here. Let's see, how you doing? Evil, let's see how you are. Yep, that is super dirty and super wrinkly too. And it's got a mouse bite here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but some mouse bite, I call these mouse bites, these little chunks of stuff out of the cover. It's super dirty. Uh, yeah, this one, this one's got a lot of room. So this one I can do wonders with. I'm positive this guy will come back a lot better. Um, this guy here, got a, a gardener for one. Green Lantern stuff. It's got some color transfer to another book. And otherwise, it's pretty good. I don't know. There's not much. I don't know. I take it back. There's lots of little spine, spine ticks and stuff on the cover. This one. A lot of this will be subtle. I don't think that the average person would notice it. Batman 155. Return of Penguin and Batman's Psychic Twin. Robin, look out. The Penguin had a flame-throwing device inside the bronze dragon's mouth. Yeah, of course he did. What else would he do? You know? <laughs> oh, boy. That's funny. This is over-the-top Batman stuff. This is great. I love it. I could not love it more. Good stuff. All right. What we got here? We have a... That magenta is going to be it. A problem. I'm not going to wet clean that one. I know how that magenta rolls and not well. We got a very loose spine up here. This is the only book in the pile that appears to have been pressed previously and not properly, so the spine is a little loose because of it. That's the too high of a pressure situation there, and it's a rusty staple, so that one, we'll have to take the staple out and clean it, I think. Remarkable ruse of the Riddler. What's keeping the Riddler up? He takes our hardest knockout blows and bounces right back from them. Wow, who knows, Batman? We just don't know. So anyway, that's this week's books. And if you're sending me a book, I'll probably get to it next week or a uh, week after. So uh, that's it. Anyway, I'm using Take Care of Bye. So here we have uh, another X-Men number one, which we see a lot of these days. And customer sent this to me. He tried to crack this out of the case. He kind of gave up, and then he left it in this sort of inner shell. And that is, um, he snuck it by me because normally I charge for that. So customer didn't know that. But um, so I'm going to take it out here and see, see what we got. Um, this person doesn't want it wet clean. He wants it dry clean, and he says interior pages not neatly aligned. He wants it straightened out. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Cover not aligned. 
two millimeter spine roll. He's clearly looking for, he's looking at things that grading and he wants it to be boosted up. So we are gonna, we're gonna fix it. And we are gonna start by taking it out of this little beauty. And when we do that is we get it on one, one side of the, this guy right here. And then we're gonna put a ruler to keep from slipping, which we don't want to have happen. And we keep the we keep a blade and we keep it always away from the book so that if we slip it's not going towards it. It should be pretty easy to cut. There we go. And I'll just do it one more time here. I'm gonna cut it down. Normally I charge people to take that in case because it's something I don't enjoy doing and often takes a long time. Luckily this was only halfway done. So this book is now open this way. See that? And we can now slide the book out of this little uh, sandwich here. I'll take this off. And then um, we, can, uh, we can open it up. I'm going to cut the rest of this off here. We can get it out easily. There. So now we don't want to. We want to do as few cuts as possible. So we get this little beauty out of here, and we are going to make sure we have it all nice and done. This one might actually merit a second cut because it's. It, I can feel the paper, and the paper is fragile. And so we're going to cut, we're going to protect it again. We are protecting the book. And we're going to cut with the knife here. And again, we're going to make two cuts. And we're going to open this up here. Take that out. Book is so fragile. So fragile. Okay. So here it is. In all her glory, X Men number one. This book has the following features it has not been pressed or cleaned before, which is nice. The spine is barely on. There's tape here. Let's see this. There's repair tape. Um, X Men number one. Here we go, folks. In the main study of an exclusive private school in New York's Westchester County, a strange, silent man sits motionless, brooding, alone with his indescribable thoughts. Finally, his meditation comes to an end. Then, while he remains completely motionless, a sharp, commanding thought rings out, echoing the great halls of the building. Attention X-Men, this is Professor Xavier calling. Repeat, this is Professor X calling. You are ordered to appear at once. Class is now in session. Tardiness will be punished. Never within the memory of man was there a class such as this. Never was there a teacher such as Professor X. And never were there students such as the X-Men. Cyclops, present accounted for, sir. Angel reporting, sir. Iceman, right on schedule, sir. The beast is here, sir. Written by Stan Lee and drawn by Jack Kirby. How's that, folks? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool right there. Here's our microchamber interleaving paper, which they put a little further in than they probably should have. But um, there it is, folks. And this is the book, and we are going to try to straighten this out. So what have we in this little gem here? Some things stand out. A lot of tape on this spine. And the spine may be detached. I'm not going to look right now. Um, there's abrasion and paper loss. There's, uh, this book is very definitely in poor condition. Um, it, there's, um, if you look up here, you can see there's schmutz, also initial writing. And there's some initial writing right here as well. And also some more dirt. So Shamey doesn't want it wet clean because I can clean that up pretty well. Um, grease oil stains here. But the thing that gets me the most is how close this 
proved by Comics Code Authority is to the edge here. How little Marvel chipping there is, despite the rest of this book having been completely nuked. <laughs> you know? Uh, it looks... That edge is almost certainly trimmed, and I'll show you here. So this is coming off. This is like not even... I don't think that's even attached. There's... The, so here's something. Let me show you. This back cover here. A Silver Age comic book should be 6 and 7 eighths inches wide. So if I start at 12, it should be oh, go this way uh, from here to here. And this book is very clearly not that wide. <laughs> so much of this book is missing off this one edge. Uh, so he wants me to like the he wants me to to straighten this out but this is just trimmed like straight off and so for example let's hold this up to my amazing spider-man number two and look how much wider my book is and my book is going to be not trimmed and it's going to be ta -da, the right length right width this book's very definitely trimmed cover is not attached it is taped everywhere um I am not going to be able to do everything he wants me to do to this book. It's a great book. I love having an X-Men number one here. Um, I can clean this up, but it is not, uh, it's been trimmed. It just is. And you can't, and if it's a detached cover and it's trimmed, look at that. It's just not, the front's actually only trimmed a little bit, but it should be 17 and a half millimeters. So it's just a little bit on the front, just enough because they're leaving this edge. I think it's more on the bottom than the top. And it is. Look at the bottom. is only 17 millimeters. And the top is almost, almost 17 and a half. So they went down at an angle, which is what's making this here. Okay, so we're done here. And it looks better. It's not as many dents in it. The customer did not want me to wet clean, which is okay. But if he did, we would have been able to remove this schmutz right here and these kind of stripes up in this area so but it looks better I mean the book has clearly 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 been trimmed and look at the other side of this book it is you know it's quite a bit so and this book came in a CGC case so this somebody knew this, I mean, I'm sure that this has been spotted, but look at that. Look how much that is off here. If you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and here too, there's just a tremendous amount of material taken from the back here. I mean, it's like the book is sticking out really. So, uh, you know, no one even tried to hide it. And we got tape from here to here, here to here, all along. I mean, we could have mended this, you know, professionally and make this look a lot better, but that is how customer wants it. That's how customer gets it. I would like to clean that schmutz off of there a lot. But I'm not going to touch it. So anyway, that is an X-Men number one. Thing of beauty. What a beautiful book to have, you know, despite all of its, you know, little band-aids, which I think give it character. It's a, uh, it is a great book. I really like it.